Hi everybody, welcome to the lesson of the month October. Uh, on this lesson I'm going to talk about the very, 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 very famous standard autumn leaves, which I think everybody knows. <laughs> Yeah, and actually I'm just going to talk about the first part of it because uh, I call this the autumn leaf progression because this is a progression is very useful. You're going to analyze it a little bit, check out um, the chords and give you some ideas. And um, yeah, now let's see what happens with the chords. So the, this version of uh, autumn leaves is in the key of G minor and the chord progression we have here in the first part is C minus 7 to F9 to B flat major 7 to E flat major 7 to A minor flat 5 to D7 alt alt means altered or you can also say D7 to G minus 7 so um, we have the melody that goes like this So we have this little melody, and then there come the kicks, C minus 7 to F9. B flat major to E flat major 9. This is normal standard progression, voicing, uh, E flat major 9. To D7 sharp 9. And I tend to use a G minor 6 chord here, which sounds much cooler than the normal minor 7 chord. So... So, what is also very important from my point of view is that you have the metronome on your foot in 2 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 1. Because then you start a swing automatically. Try to play the chords like this with a click here. So, this is about timing now. Now, if, if we want to play some different chords and understand the chords, and this is very useful because this kind of chord progression um, comes up very, very often in, in any kind of variation. So, now you have some additional, like... Stuff like this, the typical jazz chords. So <coughs> when we play typical jazz chords from C minor, we just play the higher chords, and mostly they don't have the root note as usual in the bass. As in this is this example here, this is C minor nine chord. So if you add the bass, you hear how it sounds. But normally you have a bass player and with the, with the band playing. But um, <coughs> then you don't need to play the bass. But in this case, they also sound cool like this. So we have here C minor 9, 2. And this one is actually the upper part of F9, 13. And we don't play the bass note. See, now play the bass note. Bass note, and now it sounds cool. So we have... Then we switch to B flat major. So for B flat major seven chord, you have different uh, types that you can play on the higher chords. Of this one here, this is a this is a chord with it contains only uh, only four four interval um, 
how you say that in English? Um, in, in German, it's Quarten. <laughs> fourth, uh, you call them fourth. <laughs> I cannot tell it you. Yeah. So, this one is, I uh, have a bar here in the sixth fret and in the fifth, the other bar. So, you just, the cool thing is you can move it around like this. You can play, you can even play like this, this, um, the first chord, this is a B flat major, bar in the third here, the pinky in the fifth, now this fourth chord here in the fifth, move it up two frets, and then switch to the normal B flat major seven chord. Sounds like a scale, it's pretty similar to a scale. And then we jump to E flat major seven. So E flat major seven, sixth here in the fifth, and here the bar in the third. Very cool. So what we have in timing, so one, two, three, four. So here, this is pretty tricky. So you have one, two, three, four, clock and jump on the E flat major seven, or if you want, E flat major nine. You could also do this, E flat major nine to the other E flat major seven, so. Very cool. Now we go to A minus seven flat five. Now, wow, this is the same chord again like before. What happened now? <laughs> That's so funny. The point is the bass note has changed. Now this is the bass note. When you play like this, now you hear it very clear. And that's a very interesting thing with these chords here in the upper position. Um, you, the fingerings uh, uh, turn out to be very similar uh, among each other, but it depends which is the bass note, how it sounds. And in this case, <laughs> this is the A minor 7 flat 5, the same chord as before the F9. You can even make this movement here, but with the other bass it sounds different. And now, <laughs> I'm going to show you this very funny. When you do the same thing up here, the actually the exact same chord. And this now is, what is this here? The bass note, this is actually D altered. In this case, it's um, D7, um, flat 9, flat 13. And here, D7, sharp 9 flat 13 but the, the fingering is the same and this allows you to make stuff very quickly uh, just because the finger is very easy and then it's more or less is the rhythm which makes it so like as an example one two three four See, very funny. Oh, we forgot the G minor. So, I took the same G minor 9 as before C minor 9, but also I made this one here, which was before in the now again. This chord here, before it was a um, B flat major 7 chord, but now it's a G minor 7 chord. What happened? Bass note has, play, has changed. And this way you can really run around the stuff and you just. For the fringe is not too hard, but you need to know where the, uh, where the the bass note is, and then you can really go through this stuff. So once again, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Sounds very cool. Now combination with the theme. One, two, three, four, one. Now 
uh, improvisation. Now comes the re really cool part, a walking bass. What is walking bass? Actually, walking bass moves from one bass not to the other one. So in the case of here, C minor 9. C minor 9 to F9, so it moves up here. Um, this is the 10th fret. No, 8. 10. And you just move up. 8, 10, 6, 7 to F9. Now we go, now we move down to uh, B flat uh, major 7. Now we move back to E flat major, major 7. See, very simple. Move down to A minor 7 flat 5 to D7 altered to G major and normally you, you just uh, play first bass and quickly the upper part of the chord and that's the basic trick so let's check it out one two three four Yo, that's the whole thing. Now what you can pick out of the of these ideas is basically um just you can play normal chords. You can play them old style. Old style comping. We can play walking bass. That's the most, the hardest one. Or the upper chords as showed. So, one, two, three, four. And to tell the truth, um, the combination of it makes the best effect, actually. Um, yeah. So as, as always in life, it's not always, always I eat, uh, I don't know, vanilla ice. You mix it up with chocolate ice and then it becomes really great. Otherwise, you get really bored to death. <laughs> and that's the whole thing. So you make like... whatever you want yo yo i hope you enjoy this little excourse in jazz guitar on the first part of autumn leaves great standard and this this chord progression is very common in many tunes and it really makes sense to work out stuff like this just as i showed that when you see something like this you can just play it on the fly and that's very useful and um, helps a lot um yeah, if you enjoyed it, you can um, contribute a donation on my <laughs> on the website, or if you subscribe, so you don't need to, you already paid for it. But anyhow, uh, enjoy it or whatever, do with, <laughs> with it what you want. And if you have any requests for a future uh, lesson of the month, um, you can write it on my YouTube channel uh, or write me an email or whatever you want, and then we'll see what shows up. Um, yeah. Good, enjoy it and see ya.